1. Find the value of n when p is equal to rupees 750, r is equal to 3, 3 by 4 percent and i is equal to rupees 250. Solution. i is equal to p n r by 100. n is equal to i into 100 by p r which is equal to 250 into 100 by 750 into 15 by 4 which is equal to 100 into 4 by 45 is equal to 80 by 9 or 8 8 by 9 years. The length of the curve L in a sector is given by L is equal to x by 360 into 2 pi r. Make r the subject of the formula and find r when x is equal to 70 degrees and L is equal to 33 centimeters. Solution. Given length of the curve in a sector L is equal to x by 360 into 2 pi r. r is equal to L into 360 by x into 2 pi where x is equal to 70 degrees and L is equal to 33 centimeters. Therefore, r is equal to 33 into 360 by 70 into 2 into 3.14 which is equal to 33 into 18 by 7 into 3.14 which is equal to 594 by 21.98 centimeters which is 27 centimeters. Write all possible related auxiliary formulae for I is equal to PTR by 100. Solution. All possible formulae are obtained by making each of the variables on the RHS as the subject of the formula. That is 1. P is equal to I into 100 by TR. T is equal to I into 100 by PR. R is equal to I into 100 by PT. The area of a square is given by A is equal to S square. Change the subject to S and find S when A is equal to 169 square units. Solution. Given A is equal to S square where A is 169. Therefore, S is equal to square root of A which is equal to square root of 169 which is 13 centimeters. The volume of a cylinder is given by V which is equal to pi r squared h. Make r the subject of the formula and find when V is equal to 462 cubic units and h is equal to 14 units. Solution. Given volume of the cylinder V is equal to pi r squared h, where V is equal to 462 units. Therefore, r is equal to square root of V by pi h, which is equal to square root of 462 by 3.14 into 14, which is equal to root of 231 by 3.14 into 7.